Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm coming to you today with something that the Lord placed on my heart. Um, While I was in worship, and I really, really would like to share with you all, I believe it will bless a lot of you. Um, I know many of you may wonder why I haven't been making a lot of videos like I was at one point. Um or why I haven't been as active as I was at one point. Um, I've been going through a lot of spiritual warfare. And um, the enemy has been really trying to uh, fight me out of the presence of God. Fight me uh, from doing his will. Fight me from just everything. It's really been a, 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 like a tug of war. You know what I mean? Like a pull in the spirit. And I've been really struggling. And I just ask that you guys will all pray for me. And um, But one thing that the Lord just really placed on my heart. He's been placing a lot of things on my heart. But again, you know, um, it's been like a tug of war, you know. When it comes to sharing things that God has placed on my heart. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of distractions. A lot of uh, um, procrastination, um, just just some personal things that, you know, a lot of us go through as believers, you know, and, um, you know, tonight, you know, as I was, you know, in worship and in the presence of God, um, he just began to talk to me. The Holy Spirit just began to speak to me. And I was just thinking about all of these things that have just been like weighing on me and um i heard the holy spirit tell me to press through the crowd he said press through the crowd and when i began to think about that i said i i began to um converse with the lord you know and he started telling me you know that there's going to be a lot of things in our life as believers that is going to come up against us. There's going to be a lot of spiritual warfare. We can never stop the warfare. We can never stop temptation. We can't stop the evil things that is going on in this world. We can't stop none of this stuff from going on. But God is telling us, not only me, he's telling us as believers in this hour. He's saying that we must press through the crowd. Many of you are going through what I'm going through. You may be facing a lot of distractions in your life. You may have a hard time getting in the presence of God or getting back to that place where you once was. You know, and God is saying, press through the crowds. Press through the crowds of your fear. Press through the crowds of feeling like you're not good enough. Press through the crowds of, of feeling like you're unworthy. Press through the crowds of guilt. Press through the crowds of, of, of shame. Press through the crowds of, of you know, um, just focusing on, on things that may be going on within this world right now at this moment. Because sometimes even those things will kind of distract us. You know, when we pay attention to the news and we're so focused on all of the things that, you know, line up with bib biblical prophecy, we tend to focus on those things more. And God is saying, press through the crowds of all of that. Press through all of that to get to me. You know what I mean? You you might have to press through how you're feeling. You know, sometimes we might not feel like getting in the presence of God. Sometimes we might feel spiritually dry. Sometimes we might not feel like worshiping. We might not feel like praying. We might not feel like reading our Bible. But God is saying, press through all of that. Press through your feelings. Press through how you feel because how you feel is 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 can always deceive you. Your feelings and your emotions can deceive you. It can it can trap you. It can lead you astray. So God is saying, press through all of that. It's not about how you feel. It's about faith. Trust in me. Look to me. And you know, He began to lead me to Scripture. And um, I'm sorry if I if I sound a little weird, y'all. I'm, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm kind of uh, my nose is kind of stuffed up and stuff like that. But I really, really wanted to share this with you guys because I know that it will bless and encourage someone, you know. And um, he led me to um, Mark 5, verse 21 on down. And it says, 
And when Jesus was passed over again by the ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and had, and was, and nothing was better, but rather grew worse. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that the virtue had gone out of him, he turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And the disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throng thronging thee, and sayest thou who touches me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. And be whole of thy plague. Now, man, when I read this, it's just really reminding me of how, you know, this woman, she was so desperate to get to God. She was desperate to get to God. She had she had been to all of the doctors. She had spent everything she had. Nothing was working for her. And she said, you know what? I know that if I can get to God, if I can touch the hem of his garment, if I can press through this crowd, press through all of these people just to get to him, I know that I will be healed. I don't even have to talk to him. I just, I just know that if I can touch him, I know that I will be healed. And some of you are saying that within yourself today, like, Lord, if I can just get back to that place with you, if I can just get back to that place of worship where I used to be, that place of intimacy where I used to be just so deep with you and so on fire for you, if I can just get back to that place, Lord, I know that I'll be okay. And God is saying, press through. Press through the crowds. Press through all of your feelings all of your emotions everything that you feel is is trying to weigh you down everything that you feel is trying to keep you back and keep you away out of his presence we have to reach for god just like the woman with the issue of blood she reached for him sometimes we gotta reach for god we might not feel like he's close you might feel like he's far away right now at this point in your life but god is saying reach for me God is saying, press through all of all of the crowds of things that may be going on in your life right now just to get to me. And you know what? Some of y'all have been dealing with things for so many years. Some of y'all have been bound, just like this woman with the issue of blood. She was bound with, she was bleeding, she was hemorrhaging for 12 years that's a long time to bleed that's a long time to suffer with something and not have a cure not be able to find a cure and going to all of these doctors paying all of this money and you know people are shunning you because you're unclean and all of this stuff and many of you have been dealing with things in your life and and and, and struggling and needing deliverance from something that you have been bound with for so many years and you don't know how to break free. God is saying, press your way through to me. Reach to me. How desperate are you? How desperate are you to be healed? How desperate are you to be saved? How desperate are you to be delivered? How desperate are you to be and to get in my presence? 
Even if it means shunning everything, even if it means turning away everything, even if it means shutting out everything to be in that secret place with me. God is saying, how desperate are we? Are we as desperate as the woman with the issue of blood? Because she was desperate. She was desperate. How desperate are you today? How hungry are you for God? God is saying, press through. Press your way through. He wants to see how hungry you are. He wants to see how desperate you are, how serious you are to get to that place with him to, or to be back in that place with him. He wants us, especially in this hour, to draw closer to him, closer than ever, closer than ever, closer than what you even used to be, closer than you are now. Some of you might even feel like this message is not for you. Some of you might feel like, well, I'm in that place with God. I seek the Lord every day. You know, but God is always calling us to come up higher. He's always calling us to go uh, 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 deeper. Deep calls unto deep. God is calling us to go to deeper heights and deeper places in him, in the spirit realm. You know, so we we never, we never should never ever feel like we're at a point of, in our walk where we're satisfied or where we're, you know, we're, we've, we've a, a, attained to a certain level. You know, we should always want more of God always there should always be a longing in our heart there should always be a thirst and 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 a desire and a craving in our soul for God God is calling us into that secret place he's calling many of you he's calling me he's calling us back into that secret place he's drawn his people in this hour his true bride his true church he's drawn us into a place A hidden place in him. There is a true longing. A deep longing in the soul of the bride today. There is a deep longing in the true bride and the true church today. That cannot be fulfilled. That cannot be satisfied with what we are doing right now. God is saying it's going to take more than what you are doing. It's not about works. He's not talking about works. He's talking about a a, a seeking him. He said, if you seek me with all your heart and your soul and your mind and your strength, then you will find me. So God is calling us to a place of deeper seeking, deeper hunger, deeper thirsting, deeper reaching out for him. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? There was something different about the woman with the issue of blood. There was something different about her touch. There was all type of people touching Jesus. There were so many people touching him to the point his disciples looked at him crazy when Jesus said, who touched me? They looked at him crazy like it's it's all type of people throwing themselves on you because they're all desperate for healing. But there was something different about her touch to the point where it caused the power, the, the literal healing power and virtue to come from him, to be released from him. And it was her faith. It was her desperation. It was her, it was her, 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 her uh, uh, her heart it was her heart so how bad do you want it is the question God wants to do so much he wants to endow us with his presence y'all God wants to flood us with his his presence and with his glory he wants to anoint us he wants to speak to us so he's saying press through the crowds I want to heal you I want to deliver you I want to touch you. I want I want to to make you whole and make you new. I want to do some things in your life, but you have to press through all of those things. You know? So, I just hope that you guys were encouraged by that cuz that really really encouraged me. It really blessed me, you know, because um we we got to press through, y'all. We got to press through, you know, cuz we, we understand that in this hour, the spiritual warfare is increasing. And, you know, the enemy is doing all that he can possibly do 
to you know a lot he he wants us to be so focused on what's going on in our lives the trials the temptations the excuse me the hardship you know everything that's going on he wants us to become focused on those things you know but God is saying keep your mind and your heart stayed on me you know and I will keep you in perfect peace you know I want to give you rest I want to lift every burden off of your soul but you have to bring it to me you have to fall you know at my feet just like the woman she fell at his feet she was desperate she didn't care she fessed up to him and I think she was a Samaritan too and you know Samaritans at that time was not you know they weren't really allowed you know to be in that place you know and um but she pressed through she came and, and she was desperate and she got what she was looking for because she pressed through everything and God is saying today press through just press through it press through it I mean whether you're going through sicknesses in your body health problems whatever it is that is 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 is, is causing you know that that those those burdens in your life that heaviness you know that that stress you know and it, and it might be keeping you out of the presence of God where you're not able to get into that secret place you're not able to worship him in spirit and in truth you're not able to seek his face like you really want whether it's your job your work your family God is saying press through all of that today he's calling us to a higher place y'all he's calling us to a deeper place we are in the last days and God is drawing his bride closer to his heart he's drawing his bride closer you know so I love y'all I love y'all and I pray that this encourages somebody to to just press through whatever you're going through because God is with us he's praying for us he's interceding for us I'm praying for us and um we're gonna make it through we're gonna make it through just like the woman with the issue of blood she made her way to the father she made her way to Jesus the king, the savior, the healer, she made her way to him. And I know we're going to make our way to, to Jesus too, if we just continue to press through. So God bless you all in Jesus mighty name.